By the end of this video, you will be able to make an NPC dialogue system in the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. This will allow you to chat with non-player characters in your games. Let's get started. So I have Roblox Studio open here and I'm working on a game. So I have a non-player character already in the game here, an NPC. And I would like to create a dialogue system so that when a player approaches this NPC, that they will be able to talk back and forth. First, let me show you how to add the NPC into your game so that you can add the dialogue to that. So to add an NPC character, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go up to plugins and there should be a plugin here called build a rig or rig builder. And this comes default with uh, Roblox Studio, so you should see it up there. So you just wanna click on that. And it's gonna ask you what kind of rig or NPC you would like to build. I'm gonna stick with the R15 for this tutorial. So, and I'm gonna click on the block rig. So now we've got a dummy here. So I'm just gonna slide him around. Okay, so you can see it looks similar to the one I already created. So I'll delete the one I've got here. And so now I've got this one here. And so in order to change any aspect of this NPC, what you can do is you can go up to the home tab here and you can just you know click on scale if you wanna make him larger or smaller. You can also click the rotate button, which is what I'm gonna do here so that uh, he is facing the right way. And so now we've got this NPC ready to go. And if you would like to change the colors or any other part of him, you can just go to the Explorer. You can select on the dummy. You can name him anything you would like. And you can see the different parts of the NPC here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the upper torso. And then, then down in the properties, you can change different things like the color. So I'm gonna change it to that color. And you can change uh, the material that the NPC is made of and all kinds of things. This is not a tutorial on how to change your NPC. I just wanna add a dialogue system to him. So in order to add a dialogue system, you most likely want the dialogue or the chat to appear over the head of the NPC. So. I'm going to click on head over in the uh, dummy model here, and I'm gonna add a dialogue. So I'm just gonna type in dialogue and click that here. So now I need to find the dialogue, so there it is. And I'm click on dialogue, and then when you click on that, it's gonna give you options on the bottom right in the properties tab. So you can see the uh, different behavior types that you can have here. I'm gonna stick with single player. That's gonna be the most straightforward for this tutorial. And you can hover over each of these uh, different properties to see what they do. Like the conversation distance is the maximum distance that the player character can be from the dialogue, uh, from the NPC before using the dialogue. So uh, let's keep that at the default there, but you can change that if you would like. So I would like to do an initial prompt. So this is gonna be the first thing that the NPC says when you approach it. So I'm gonna say, hi, welcome to Blocks Dojo. And so already we've added an element of dialogue into this game. So let's go ahead and play and see what that looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna turn around and there he is. And you'll see there's the dialogue box. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And it says, hi, welcome to Blocks Dojo. And that's the end of the dialogue. So there isn't any responses yet. So I wanna add those in. So let's stop this. If you're looking to make better Roblox games, one of the best ways to do this is by finding inspiration by playing other games. Right now, you can get a 30 day free trial to Gamefly's game rental service. When you sign up for Gamefly, you can request physical video games to be mailed to your house. Let's say you request two games on your first month. If each game costs $70 at the store, you would get to play $140 worth of games for free. The link for the free trial is in the description below. The link is an affiliate link and helps support this channel. And so there are several ways that you can add responses uh, so that you can speak to the NPC and then they can speak back to you. So I found that the easiest way to do this is to go to that dialog box that you created before. And then I want you to add a dialog choice. So there it is, dialog choice, so I'm gonna add that. So now I've added one dialog choice here. And when I click on dialogue choice, you can see near the bottom here, there's a response dialogue and a user dialogue. So the user dialogue is actually the thing that the user will be saying to the NPC. Depending on what the uh, user says, it will change what the response is from the NPC. So let me show you what this means. So here I'm going to ask, where is the treasure? Okay, so that's my character asking, where is the treasure? And then now the NPC is gonna respond with, the treasure is by the lake. And so let's go ahead and try that out. So I'm gonna go ahead and play. And so as soon as you add these dialogue boxes and dialogue choices, it should play correctly. And you'll see what this does now. So now I'm gonna go over and then I'm gonna click on the dialogue box. 
Welcome to Blocks Dojo. Okay, you can see on the bottom left here it says, I can ask either where is the treasure or I can say goodbye. So I'm going to ask where is the treasure. And so now they respond with the treasure is by the lake. So isn't this pretty cool? Like you can talk to the NPC and create as many prompts as you would like. Now, the next step is very important. I want to show you how to do this so that the prompts show in the order that you would like. With the dialog box here, I'm going to go down to the initial prompt and I just want to make sure I put uh, an extra part there. Do you have any questions? So, okay, welcome to Block Dojo. Do you have any questions? Okay, so that's the first thing the NPC will say. So now I would like to add different conversations that could be had with this NPC. So this first choice here was where is the treasure, right? So let's say I want to continue that conversation with where is the treasure. What I want to do is add another dialogue choice within the dialogue choice. So I'm going to click on dialogue choice and now I've added another conversation that will happen after the question I just asked. So now I, so I already asked what, where is the treasure? So now I'm going to ask how far is the treasure? And then the response will be the treasure is close. Okay, so now let me go ahead and play this. And again, you always want to test your dialogue system out after you put your prompts in to make sure it's going in the right order and you have the right uh, choices that you wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. Hi, welcome to Box Dojo. Do you have any questions? Okay, so now I've got where is the treasure? And then now they say the treasure is by the lake. And then now I have a follow up question. How far is the treasure? The treasure is close. So you can see that the dialogue system kept going. Yeah, sometimes you have to wait until it clears. So now that is one conversation I could have. Now let's say I approach this NPC and I want to ask, okay, where's the treasure? But maybe instead of that, I want to ask what time is it? So now I go back to the dialogue box here and I'm going to add another dialogue choice that's in the same uh, place as this dialogue choice here. So I click this dialogue choice. Now you can see I have these and you can tell where your options are based on where they are left to right. So these two will be asked at the very beginning. And then this is a follow up question to this question. Does that make sense? So make sure you understand that. So you want to add dialogue choices for the same topic or conversation. Or if you want to go with different routes with the conversation, you would just do this. So now I've got dialogue choice number two. And now this time I'm going to say, what time is it? And then the NPC will say it is 12 noon. Okay, so let's play that. And now, now when I approach the NPC, it should give me two choices. Instead of saying, uh, just where is the treasure and goodbye, it'll say, where is the treasure and what time is it? So I'm gonna click on this. Hi, welcome to Doc Blocks Dojo, do you have any questions? Okay, I can ask either what time is it or where is the treasure? So now I'm gonna ask what time is it? It is 12 noon. So that is a great way to uh, add a lot of depth to your NPC dialogue system. Again, you can make really elaborate chat systems, but I'd recommend keeping it simple as you start out with your first chat system with an NPC. One thing I'd like to point out is if you'd like to change the name of the non-player character or eliminate the name so that it's easier to see the chat, all you need to do is go over to the Explorer, find the character, uh, just click on the dummy uh, character there, and then find the name on the bottom properties there so you can see a name. And then I'm just going to uh, remove that and then press enter. So now when they approach the NPC, there won't be as much uh, cluttering up the chat at the top. So you now know how to add an NPC dialogue system in Roblox Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.